Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In New Reincarnation, we got the trailer for what I assume is going to be the Emerald trailer. Uh, it'll be Chapter 3 of the People World Act. And the name of the video is a, a translation of the trailer, but there's not a lot to translate. But uh, to give some kind of context for uh, what I'm looking for, what I am expecting, uh, what I am not expecting, I can uh, repeat some things that I brought up in some previous videos, which I'll uh, link to below. Kind of make this a, a preview for the next chapter. All right, but from the preview from the trailer, we can see 063Y, F66X, and then Marie and Yuri will be the uh, featured characters. And then the lines here, they read, uh, let's finish this together. That is with uh, F66X and 063Y. And then the next line here is, let's stop this. And that is Marie and Yuri. And then here, at that time, I was not able to do anything. And then this next screen, but this time I will... dot dot dot. <laughs> this line here, however, is a lot more interesting and sort of deep. I have it in uh, two parts. No matter how many times death separates us, I love you. I show you mercy. What's interesting here is that like, it looks like the first artwork is new artwork uh, for this story. On the left, it looks like F66X. On the right, it looks like 063Y and Yuri there. But here in the second panel, we have old artwork. Uh, this is uh, the very early days of the uh, 063Y F66X story, when their uh, son was still alive. So yeah, we'll see uh, where that takes us. No sign of Hina or Yuzuki, uh, or the new character teased at the live stream, and I don't expect any of them to appear in any major way. Getting back to something that I said before, Saryu and Priet are my favorite part of the entire people world so far for me. And the reason for that is because there is a progression in the relationship between them. Fio and Lavania do have a relationship, but there was no progression on it in the people world part, which is why it was so disappointing. And as we've seen from chapters 1 and 2, uh, what was it, Scarlet and Indigo, characters like Argo and Akeha and Noel, who do not have a direct in-game relationship with another character, kind of end up as third wheels in this act, and their character arcs don't progress at all. This is not to say I dislike those characters, of course. They just have nothing to do in People World, because their personal stories are already satisfyingly wrapped up in their EX stories or RD stories or secret stories. But here for Emerald, uh, we have two pairs of characters linked by personal relationships, which I'm very excited about. Uh, there should be no third wheel unless Lars appears again for two seconds. <laughs> and now that I think about it, chapter four should be Leon Demas and Udil Sarafa, which is another pair of pairs with relationships between them, so that's great. I feel like these uh, People World chapters are going to be sort of uh, back and heavy, which is cool. F66X and 063Y have an interesting relationship, and they have a potential point of conflict, unlike Leon Demas or Fio Lavania. Their relationship resolution could be much more dramatic or thorny, like a Sun Moon relationship. I assume 063Y will learn about F66X, but how much? If he learns everything, would his love for her survive the revelation? She feels, you know, guilt for what she did. But will it matter to 063Y? With Marie and Yuri, I'm really curious to see what they do with them, because their main story was perfect, like Greek tragedy perfect. If you've ever seen uh, Akira Kurosawa's Ban, that's what it felt like at the end. The family and the kingdom are devastated, the blind are lost and wandering, and the audience is just crushed by the senseless cruelty of life. <laughs> it could totally end there forever, and I would be happy. But modern audiences, they want to know what happens next. They want to know the origin story. They want everyone to be sympathetic and relatable. So they will add more story for Marie and Yuri. But there is actually a place for their story to go, because they are looking for atonement, for failing in their task to run their country. Their country is gone, of course, so they can't find forgiveness there, and they're not even in the same world anymore. But what they can do is find forgiveness in each other, 
and in themselves, which I hope they get with the next chapter here. And I wonder if like at the very end they will fuse together into one being and end up truly perfect. And then that kind of mirrors Sadhu and Priyat. They are also seeking forgiveness when we see them in the cage. And I had a discussion with someone on Reddit about this, but I do believe Sadhu forgives Priyat. Sadhu does say that she will never forgive Priyat, but let's remember who Sadhu is. She often puts up a tough girl front when she really feels differently inside. She kind of reminds me of a Tosaka Ring from Fate Grand Order. So with her, her actions speak louder than her words, and the way she drops the issue and gives Priya another chance tells me Sadhu forgives. But with Marie and Yuri, I feel like there's nothing to be guilty about because they had such a responsibility. Maybe they didn't have everything that they needed to fulfill the responsibility. And they certainly don't need to feel any responsibility for each other, I think, except for the part where uh, Yuri takes Marie's eye. <laughs> But yeah, I'm very curious to see where they go with uh, those two characters. All right, those are my uh, preliminary thoughts on People World Act 3, Emerald, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.